All right, we're gonna do a little project today. I try to find products that, uh, especially for beginners and other people that haven't had a lot of time working on faces. Most people find that faces are the most difficult thing to work on and to, to do. And it does take time. It takes a lot of time to, to learn how to do a face correctly and stuff like that. And especially in the type of design, we, we find out that most people, when they do faces, they do them basically the same. And um, I do, I mean, with my whittlings. And uh, I do it sort of the flat plane type face. And so I try to find little projects where uh, people can do that uh, don't require a tremendous amount of, of, uh, of facial work done. So in this one, all that, the, really the work done is just the beard and the nose. And this is a little, I don't know if you call it a little, I don't know, it's just a little gnome, just a little guy. And we're gonna do him. I've cut him out. And uh, if you want the pattern, I can give you the pattern for it. I find some of my best ideas on just looking around on the internet. It's like that. Now, if you're wondering why I I'm going to be wearing a, <laughs> a Band-Aid here, is because I, I never cut myself carving. Never. I don't cut myself carving. I cut myself, I was opening, believe it or not, I was opening one of those stupid prescription bottles the other day, or prescription, you know, now with today, everything, I'm not trying to explain this away, but now with, uh, they're so afraid somebody's gonna poison somebody, they've got these containers uh, that they, I think this was just some cold medicine, the liquid, and I mean, it had, must have had two pounds of plastic on it, because they didn't want you to, nobody to get into it in other words and then you have to take a knife to cut it out and uh, I didn't I never use one of my never use your carving knife to open boxes or do anything like that just use it for carving only well it was just another knife and it slipped and and, and cut myself right there and uh, so just uh, I don't a lot of people do. A lot of people use their carving knives to open other things. I don't do that. Uh, you use a carving knife to carve. Keep your blade. Don't nick your blade. Don't do anything like that. Don't ever use it to, uh, to cut boxes or cut something out or whatever it is. Use, you get you an, uh, a utility knife or... Uh, I tell you what. Um, if you go down to Walmart, they have these miniature utility knives just like this. I open all my boxes, everything like that, and uh, they're very sharp. You can buy blades for them and all that stuff. They're real small, they fit in your pocket. So go get one of those. Don't, please don't use your, your carving knives to, to open boxes or do anything like that. So easy to, to I mean, you know, that this little, box cutter knife cost about three bucks. This is about a thirty, thirty-five dollar knife. So you see the difference then. Okay, now what we want to do with this little gnome guy or whatever it is right here is he's got a little hat on him. So let's just just first of all just uh go around just making the little hat. The little hat comes up to a, a point, as we say. So I try to make little figures that are, um, don't have, you know, faces on them. They may just have the nose or whatever it is. And um, that way it helps you a lot in doing that. Now, First of all, I want to do is I want to come here and I want to go ahead and take off two sides of the nose here. I want to bring this nose in because we don't need all of this. And so we're just going to come here and we're going to take that off of there.
I'm out in my garage so you can hear the birds. I miss my mother's backyard. It's a old house. It was had some squirrels and everything like that, but we just didn't keep the house. It was not it was not it was in kind of a bad area and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda bring this nose down. And you wanna go on both sides. You you wanna work from both sides of that nose. Because you sure don't want to um And I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And you just work from both sides of the nose till you get it down to where you want it to be. Okay. And then we kind of round it off just a little bit. Now this is a about where I want it to be. Now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to come from each end and I'm going to just sort of round it off a little bit. There we go. See that? You just sort of work from all sides as you do this. And that leaves open our little figure here. Okay. Now as we see the little figure. And we want to come. Now what, what we want to do with the beard is we want to kind of come like this and then come down like this. Kind of come like this and come down like that, in other words. So let's go ahead and just sort of take off a little bit. Sorry, I keep losing my knife. Just gonna take off a little bit like that. And like that and just sort of work out the sides here see that now of course it's not not done but we're just kind of working it out like that now what we want to do is Bring that nose down a little bit from the top. So you kind of work it like that. Okay. Now we want the hat to kind of go over the, right over the, 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 nose here kind of come around to the side here kind of get it kind of even on each side just kind of work it like that so what we want to do is just go ahead and go around the hat here and we want to Come over the nose and then come like this with the hat. Yeah, I never I never cut myself carving, but I tell you what, I've had some pretty bad cuts on 
from other things, in other words. And most of the time it's just uh, the knife slipping or whatever it is. Because I think in carving, when we're carving, we're, we're being a lot more careful. Uh, watching our knife, making sure we don't, you know, do things. But when we're just opening things or whatever, we just get really, really silly with it. I know a lot of guys have talked about the fact that they're, you know, they'll cut their knife, they'll cut their fingers using, um, and we just come up underneath here like this. Uh, like cutting vegetables, doing stuff like that, but don't cut it carving. And I think a lot of it, like I said, has to do with the fact that we're just, we become more careful. We, we become aware of a knife in our hands and that we can cut ourselves. So um, we're a lot more careful with it, as we say. See where how he's beginning to beginning to kind of come around here. He's a chubby little fella. Hmm. It's a beautiful day today in Texas. It, it is. It's just a gorgeous day today in Texas. We've had some beautiful weather the last few days, and uh, I think that we're just all very pleased in this area because it's like hurricane season is kind of um, over with now. It's turning a little cooler, and when the gulf begins to cool off, where well, you don't have the storms that, uh, or if they do get in the gulf, they're not able to produce very well. It's the warm waters of that gulf that just drives during the season those mammoth hurricanes as everybody saw with Laura and with uh, Ida and those those things. It just drives these, these uh, massive hurricanes into the gulf and then when they get in the gulf they just build such intensity that's what that warm waters do. When they cool off, they don't have really a chance, the way I understand, to, to build uh, up. Okay. Okay, we're just kind of rounding this off in here. bring this nose down a little bit more Okay, let's see. Alright, just like that. There we go. Now, uh, yeah, it has been a beautiful time and it's, it's such a joy. I think a lot of people don't realize we live during the, the months of June on, which usually it's not June, but July, August, and things like that. We are, we really, of course, everybody knows what's happened to my, what happened to my home, and we really are quite on pins and needles as far as the Gulf is concerned, and the hurricanes and stuff like that, because 
Everybody knows that Laura came very close to us, just barely, barely close to us and hit uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana and places like that. Sulfur and and uh, then uh, Ida went into New Orleans and uh, they were without power for weeks on end and things like that. So now I know up north y'all have your your winter storms and I understand those are those are horrible and it's very sad but we are the hurricane people and I've seen over the years I'm almost 70 years old I've seen some very bad devastation in this area I know Lake Charles was hit real hard. We sent a lot of food from our church over into Lake Charles and uh, uh, there are some places in Homa, Louisiana that were churches that were just completely and totally destroyed. Uh, you don't, you come back from these things, but you really don't come back. Uh, I don't, I know that's hard for a lot of people to understand. How do you say that you come back, yet you don't come back? Well, you come back from it, but you never get over it. It's just, it's just a, a terrible thing that occurs and uh, when you lose your home, and whether it be fire or whatever. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just come over here and just draw our beard in here, okay? Just draw this like this. Let me come up from here. And what we wanna do is come over here and just go ahead and cut this and take this away. Oh, brother. <laughs> Someone must be cutting their grass. So, you might have a little noise in the background, folks. And let me come over here and cut this in here. Yeah, there's somebody must be cutting their grass, I guess. I think we're only going to have to cut our grass a couple more times and then we'll, we'll be good. I cut about three yards now. I, um, okay, there we go, just like this. We, uh, I, don't do, I don't cut yards for a living. I cut my neighbor's yard because he's, he's been through cancer throat cancer. I mean, he's well now. He's doing good, but I still continue. And then I started cutting another neighbor's yard. Uh, her her husband, who was who I worked with for 40 years at the plant, uh, just one of my best friends out there at the plant. They live two houses down, and he died of COVID. I, I think I mentioned that. And it's just, and they just don't ha have anyone to cut their yard. Uh, I don't think they really have the resources to hire someone either. So I've been cutting their yard. So it's a chore when I, do, I go to cut yards. <laughs> and, but it's also that a part of our showing our love for the Lord Jesus Christ by helping others. Uh, I just, I can't believe my buddy's gone. He got COVID and, and within seven days he was dead. And uh, very, very sad. Very, very sad. I mean, just, we were just not ready for that. It was just horrible. And, um, wonderful guy I had just retired about two years ago and uh, 
I, I've been through grief. I lost my wife. Everybody knows I lost my wife at a young age. And I'm trying to take as much stress off of his wife as possible during this time. Okay, we're just we're just going through these, carving our little, just kind of taking things off, working with our little man. You see that? How we cut that on the side there. During grief, it's just so, so much better to take the stress off that you have when, when you're trying to, uh, when you're going through these things. So, uh, then I want to cut some more off here. I want to take some more off in this area. Uh, when you're going through the stress of grief, grief is horrible. It's it's just terrible. And I, and I I've known this lady, and she just. It's going through a lot right now. Her daughters are helping her, but it's it's really a sad thing when you go through that kind of grief and you wish that you would, you know. So the less stress that is taken off of you, the better off that you can deal with things. So anyone that can help in some way must should help. When you've been through it, you understand. You understand what people are going through. And you understand. Okay. Now, as you see here, uh, now we can kind of work on the beard a little bit, bring it up. See, the, all, the beard's just going to kind of come up to here and cover all that stuff. So... Uh, there won't be any eyes, there won't be any, the only thing there'll be will be the nose. And, um, just kind of work it from there. I'm gonna cut again down here. And again, down here. As we work the peace 